Welcome to this week's video roundup. I'm Linda Geddes and I'm going to take you through some of my favourite science videos from the past week. Now, you're probably familiar with people doing the wave at a baseball game, but some bees have been caught doing it too. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us more. This group of Asian giant honeybees is producing a shimmering wave. But until recently, why and how they did this was a mystery. Now researchers are finding that this very quick network of communication is used as a defensive strategy to ward off predators. Here a hornet has been chasing a flying bee which narrowly escapes by landing on the nest. The wasp's maneuver and the way the bee lands triggers a shimmering wave that flicks the wasp off the nest. The researchers found that honeybee colonies varied the strength and rate of their waves depending on their predator's speed and proximity. But hornets also seem to be tuned into the strategy. When they were within 50 centimeters of a large nest and witnessed a shimmer, the visual cue would scare them away. Next up, robotic spy planes designed to fly over war zones could soon be put to a healthier use. A team in South Africa has been test flying these tiny uncrewed planes, which have been modified to carry blood and spit samples from remote areas to distant labs. They can be launched from clinics and follow pre-programmed routes using GPS and gyroscopes to orient themselves. Once they reach their destination, they can either automatically drop their parcel or respond to instructions from the ground. So far, two of these planes have been put to the test. Both of them successfully followed their routes and delivered the goods, even when confronted with wind speeds of up to 45 kilometers per hour. The larger of the two planes should be able to carry up to 500 grams, enough to transport many samples. Finally, you may have been following all the hype this week, as the world's most powerful particle accelerator was switched on in Geneva. Sandrine takes us through the first images that were captured as a proton beam was sent around the machine. The beam of protons was stopped before it passed through the first detector, called CMS, so it could be steered more precisely. These images show the particle debris when the beam hit the block, traveling close to the speed of light. This is an image from ATLAS, the fourth and last detector that the beam passed through. At this point, the protons had traveled almost 27 kilometers. Although test runs had been made through the other detectors, it was the first time Atlas got any action. But not many splashes of energy were recorded. This is positive news since it means that the beam stayed on course and didn't crash into vacuum pipes or the detector itself. That's all for now, but there are plenty more science stories on our website. For example, see photos of a breed of dog that may have to thank its genes for repeatedly winning the world's ugliest pooch contest. Or... Find out how one cell splits into two during cell division. See you next time.